anywhere from a foot to two feet off making it shorter it just makes it easier to cast and you can tie a loop knot but probably it'll get some line twists so I mean I just like to tie that swivel back on there with a simple improved clinch knot like that and call it done I'm using anywhere from an eighth to a quarter three sixteenths is usually perfect somewhere in there of course I got the bobber stop on there that keeps my weight from sliding up my line You gotta get your Senko on there. Green pumpkin, pumpkin seed, any types of flakes when it's sunny. But you really can't go wrong with something that kind of looks natural like this. Hooking that right through the very tip of the nose, like that, and then using this trailer hook. Now sometimes you can't use the treble hook, but we're gonna see if we can get away with it. We're fishing on the edge of grass, and if it gets hung up too much, then I'll just switch. So if I start getting a lot of grass on that treble hook, there's a couple different things you can do. You can either literally cut it completely off or you can add a single hook trailer. It just depends on how good they're biting. You just gotta get a few bites to get a feel for whether you need that trailer hook on there or not. See how I'm getting that? That's all on the trailer hook. So what I'm gonna do, that's curly leaf pondweed. So what I'm gonna do is cut that completely off. Just like that and save those trailer hooks because they're very expensive, really, really, really good ones. And then I'm just going to fish it like this for a while. And if I get a couple bites and don't hook up, then I'll add a, a single hook trailer that those guys at Someday Owl Tackle makes that uh, I like a lot. But a lot of times, you know, these natural lake weed type walleyes, they'll get that whole bait because they're eating the blade. I'm really not casting it very far. You can throw it a mile, but when you're in this grass, it seems like it's better for me to just make those shorter casts. You want to be able to get used to how everything feels, you know, that blade, how the bait feels without any grass on it, just how it feels in open water so that you know when you got to snap it. But basically what I'm trying to do is keep that bait as close to the bottom. This is completely different than out on Lake Erie where we're catching those ones suspended. I'm letting that bait hit the bottom and then kind of just pulling it a little bit just so I can feel that that blade turning and you can feel everything like every time you pick up grass every time that blade quits turning you can tell very very slowly twitch it reel it edge of the grass right there so that's where I want to be that's why we got those glass beads in there you rattle those beads a little bit sometimes it gets their attention it's always fun trying to figure them out. I mean, sometimes it's just a real slow, steady retrieve. Other times it's letting it sink to the bottom and kind of pumping it. <clears throat> Let it sink. The blade spins the whole way. There's one. Oh yeah, look at this one, look at this one. Look at this one. Come here, come here, come here. <clears throat> Get in there. Yeah, look at that one. <clears throat> I was just about to put a one of those single trailer hooks on, but now I don't know. I missed the last three bites that I had, and this one got it. Oh, there was one. Bit it. He got him. Oh, he got off. Oh my gosh, he got off again. Look at that. <laughs> See, that's without the trailer hook. He had it good. They're stealing my Senkos. But sometimes when you're using that lighter weight, spinning rod is better, especially when it's a little bit windy like this. So I'm gonna switch this rig over to the spinning rod. Oh yeah, look at this one. Yeah. Yeah. That's it.
throw the small ones in this side. Is there anything you can say negative about the rock lizard? The only thing is, is when you're throwing it, you're probably catching fish, so you attract the Googans. That's the only negative I can think of. I mean, I'm using eight pound nano braid suffix and just going right from the braid to the leader on the rock lizard, which is 20 pound test. So that big line doesn't seem to matter. That blade mesmerizes them. If I can cast in your boat, you're too close. I liked your flag though. got off in the net. Lost my Senko. Nicer one. Got my Senko. Anything brown, green pumpkin is my favorite, especially on this purple one. But I'm gonna try a smoke. Changing color sometimes to get you another one. This is probably my favorite walleye rod. It's a 7.2 medium light. I like a little bit longer and different one on Lake Erie, but for doing this kind of fishing, shallower with the light weight, this is the rod I use every time I fish for walleye. So it's fused carbon by 13 fishing, medium light. It's just the perfect backbone, nice tip. Prototype X reel. It's just one of those deals. If they're not buried up in the grass, this is a good way to catch them just out here roaming off the grass. Usually this works a little bit better when it's cloudy, but they're chewing it today. Probably the best way to reel it today has just been a real slow, steady retrieve. I'm twitching it, making sure I'm staying on the bottom. It's only six to eight feet. So when I feel that blade hit the grass and just stop working like that right there, I just give it a hard snap, make sure the blade's spinning. And I missed one. That's a lot of times that's when they blade. If I'd have had the trailer hook, I'd have got it. Ooh, I just had one bump it on the way down. Yeah, I'm in that grass right there. Just give it a hard snap. Make sure the blades are spinning. Let it flutter back down. Got him. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh, yeah. Not a giant. Not a giant, but a good one. Nice. Nice one. Right at the boat. Right at the boat. I think he hit it twice. Little guy. Little tiny. Another one. Come on. No trailer hook. I'm getting them. I forgot my forgot the trailer hooks, but I'm getting most of them right in the corner, like right in that meat right there in the corner. That's the rock lizard. Lots of fun. That's a limit. Catching them on the rock lizard in the grass. Putting a fork in it. Pretty nice limit. I got one real big one, three nice ones, and two two little ones, but not bad for a couple hours out here on the pond. 